piece. That's good. All right, so I am live on Facebook and I am not live on YouTube again. But today, Jesus always probably won't be on here for very long. I need to get my son. As a matter of fact, hang on one second. I'm going to shut the door and I'm going to do something for my son. Okay, I am back. I am back, I am back, I am back. Still working on some logistics. Um, I really would like to do two lives at the same time. Possibly three. I have another computer that I could put in here and possibly do a third something. <sighs> but, I haven't gotten around to doing that yet. So today is January the 7th. I think there's a new baby in our midst today, hopefully. And, uh, anyway, I'll share more about that later. We're doing Jesus Always with Sarah Young. Uh, still want to give one of these away. Nobody has emailed me yet. Please email me so I can mail you this. I need to mail two out to, uh, as gifts, as late Christmas gifts. Okay. This is what Jesus has to say to us. And that's how Sarah Young writes these books, is as Jesus is saying it. The more often you turn your thoughts to me, the more you will enjoy my perfect peace. This is a challenging goal, but it is also a glorious gift. I, the shepherd of your soul, am always accessible to you. You can train your mind to turn from other things and focus on me. When you experience something beautiful, thank me for it. When a loved one brings you joy, remember that I am the source of this pleasure. Post reminders of my presence in your home or car or office. It's also wise to memorize scripture since it is ultimately about me. Turning your thoughts to me demonstrates your trust in me. Even undesired things such as pain and problems can be reminders to communicate with me Focusing on my presence protects you from getting stuck on problems, going over and over them in your mind without making any progress. Be creative in finding new ways to turn your thoughts towards me. Thus, you can enjoy the wondrous gift of my peace. Okay, so... The first verse we're going to look up is Isaiah... Isaiah 26, 3. 26, 3. Uh, Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. Trust ye in the Lord forever, for in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. Amen. We get our strength from God. God gives us our strength. And as I um, shared Sadie Huff's um, message from Passion 22, he gives us our identity. Our identity is in God's Word. Okay, First Peter... Now let's go to Philippians. I try to do these in order. They're not really listed in order, but I try to do them in order. It's just easier for me to find them if I do them in order. She usually does some from the Old Testament. She does a lot from Psalms, which I like. She does a lot from Philippians 4, which I like. Philippians 4... 6 through 7. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer 
and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be known unto God. And the peace of God which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. So that is so good too. And then 1 Peter 5.25 1 Peter 5, whoops, oh, there is no 520, oh, 225, I haven't finished all my coffee yet, okay, uh, 1 Peter 225, for ye were as sheep going astray, but are now returned unto the shepherd and bishop, oh, oh, I don't know who that is, and bishop of your soul. So I'm not going to answer that. Sorry, Facebook, for the annoyingness of. I'm just going to decline that call. Well, it's not my daughter. I may have to rush off of here because she's she's on a meeting and we prayed about it, and so I'm praying for good things. And I didn't pray before I started. I'm so sorry, God. Please open our hearts and our minds to what you want to teach us today. Sorry I forgot to pray this morning. I'm running behind. Sorry I'm running behind. Um, please help me find a time that will fit into Seth and I's daily schedule. And um, just bless anyone that comes here that wants to learn more about your word not anything about me because I am nothing but a willing vessel that will sit here and read and discuss um, but just bless them protect them and provide for them God in Jesus name I pray amen well I forgot to pray before I got started Sooner or later, I'm going to get into a routine, but I don't want to get into so much of a routine that it's repetitious because I felt like everything was repetitious last year, and I feel like God called me out on that, and I don't want to do that anymore. I want to be more spontaneous. Uh, I want to uh, be more in touch with what the Holy Spirit wants to do through me. I just want to be a vessel this year. I don't know what I was last year. That's a new year. Let me share with you a verse that I shared with my daughter, which I love. God. Oh, we do have a new baby at 1110 last night. Okay, I'll have to get with her in a minute. Aw, I'm so happy. Okay, 4318. Through 19. So this is my verse for this year. Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Like last year's gone. We can't change anything about last year. All we have is today and moving forward. We need to trust God with the forward. We need to trust God with today. We need to make our choices today that please Him. Uh, behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness, in rivers in the desert. So God is able to make a way. When we think that there is absolutely no way, God is still able to make a way. So if you find yourself this year, I think I'm going to do this because it's really short. I'm trying to limit my time today and I'm sorry. For the inconvenience, I'm going to get better at this. I'm going to have more of a schedule probably next week. Um, if you find yourself needing a Savior, Jesus is always available. <laughs> Jesus always. He's always available. All you have to do is call upon His name. Repent of your sins because God is a holy God. That's set apart. Repent of your sins and call upon the name of Jesus and be saved. In your own words, you don't really have to have a prayer like this. You admit 
you need a Savior, and you're a sinner. Believe in Jesus Christ. Commit your life to Christ. Those three things are most important. And if you think you need a prayer, go back to some of my older videos for prayer, Pray and Share. I do a prayer every night that I do that. So anyway, I have enjoyed this time. I need to get off. I want to talk to this young lady that just had this baby blessed our promised family with a new baby and our kingdom family with a new baby. I want to see how she's doing. Anyway, uh, have an awesome day. I'm going to pray. God, I just pray that you would bless us with an awesome day. God, I just pray that when we do face difficulties today, that we will reach out to Jesus. We will call on Jesus' name and get our focus back on Him and away from the things of the world. Help us to walk in Your ways, God. Help us to make choices that please You today. Help us, God, to have the boldness to go out and share Your truths and share the gospel of Jesus. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Well, I'm going to get off of here. And I missed 9 o'clock really badly. I'm going to try to do better. Or I'm going to change the time to 10. <laughs> I just, I got to find something that fits my schedule. I have to have, before I come and have coffee with y'all, I have to have enough coffee so I can think, and I still don't do too well. But I do enjoy spending this time with you. Put your name in the comments if you came and you had Jesus always with me this morning and coffee. Coffee and Jesus. Maybe I'll start calling this coffee and Jesus or Jesus and coffee. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, have an awesome day. Much love and cyber hugs until tomorrow morning. So bye.